Hey guys, so besides my day job here in Singapore as a system administrator and doing web converger, <laughs> my most promising side project has been uh, a thing called My Responder, which was prompted by um, my mother in law being robbed in Petling Jaya in Malaysia, which um, Malaysia has security issues. Um, Singapore is uh, pretty very safe in comparison. So um, I, I made a few videos, I'll link to them, but the update is that, well, I'm still sort of maintaining my responder, um, but the take-up has been a little bit disappointing, um, and it's to be expected because the other members of the Security Council basically have to talk the residents through how to sign up and how to save the, the, ho the home icon and how to alert it and do a drill, and all of that takes time. Um, and I'll blow this out, but um, th there are 600 houses in the, in the neighborhood that I want to, um, that, that I'm hoping to improve the security of, and I guess there's about, f about 40 signups, so, I don't know, just over 5%, 40 out of, divided by 600, don't. I, I made some videos while I was out there last weekend, and I'll probably roll them now. So, like many middle-class neighborhoods around the world, especially in third world countries, um, they've taken security in their own hands and perhaps closed the road. This, this road here is closed. They've closed it so that they can better funnel um, cars through a, through, a, through a gatehouse. Here they close the, the gates um, at most times except in sort of peak traffic or emergency traffic because this is like one of the only roads available in in and out of this neighborhood so they have the option to open up the gate and then they station a guard there uh, if they need to a problem here obviously is that is that um, people um, can come in and out nonetheless and um, oh well up until recently it was quite easy for a, a motorbike to get through here, but they put some extra guardrails here to disallow that. Snatching grabs on a motorbike are quite common, I would say, around here. Funnily enough, this is actually a public road, and uh, the neighborhood watch people have to sort of bribe the government to, to close off the road and funnel all the cars through this, like they, as they do. So anyway, th this is the guard house and there's a couple of guards there who are usually foreign, they don't speak English or Malay. Um, and yeah, th there's a high turnover so you don't really get to recognize them and they don't recognize you. The next security win, I think, would be to, to properly do the guard house. So the guard house is a bit of a joke. There's a couple of guys, um, there's a high turnover of the, of the security guards and all they do is just, um, you know, look the part and let people in and out. And sometimes I think they scribble down stuff and it's all a bit of a show. It's the, it's the um, well, they should be checking out the resident stickers on the car. Um, but um, since I think there's like a kindergarten there and, 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 a, and a business or two, there's, there's so many other cars coming into the neighborhood. So the big idea, I think, would be to... to log what's going on there right um log the log the the cars coming in and out surprisingly there's about 3.5 cars to the av to the house in in that neighborhood uh, that middle class neighborhood of uh, malaysia so there's 2000 cars and another 2000 uh, what do you call it visitors in the neighborhood i think um, every day, I, I think. I think that's what the, I was told. So, how do you how do you log number plates? So, there's an open source project called Open ALPR, and um, the trouble is, the license plates um, in every country kind of differ, and they have support for Australia, Brazil, European Union, England. I think that's Korea, Mexico, and they do have Singapore plates, but Singapore plates actually quite uniform compared to Malaysian plates and I have been testing um, the single uh, I live in Singapore as you know I have been testing the Singapore plate stuff and um, to be honest the devil's in the details and 
I've um, like it, it does work, but like I've noticed. See six three two two K. Yeah, I think that's correct. It does work, but I noticed in practice that half the time it doesn't work, and I did manage to contact the guy who did the initial contribution, the initial training set contribution, and he says, well, he, there needs to be much more training data. So even even with this start, I can imagine for it to be kind of accurate, a lot more work it has to go even into the Singaporean sort of uh, uh, module here. And, and the Malaysian plates, I mean, Malaysian plates is like the Wild Wild West. There's some p people that have like crazy writing and all the rest of it. Anything goes in Malaysia. I mean, you could probably pay some money and not have plates at all sort of thing. But um, so, but I, I still think it's worthwhile trying to do this. So, um, uh, but it's worth noting that um, it's never going to replace the guards, right? Um, you need the guards for deterrence and perhaps worth noting that um, criminals will use fake numbers and ideally we need to be able to cross-reference the plates with known bad ones but I, the Malaysian police I don't think has a public database uh, I did read news that they are using um, automatic number plates from from their patrol vehicles lately but um, after making a couple of inquiries I don't think that that information is public Good news is that we do have uh, a list of all the plates for the residents. Um, I, I know they should have stickers, but I think if a car pulls up to the gatehouse and and somehow the system could, could perhaps alert that it's like a new car, for example, it's never seen it in the neighborhood, um, I, th I think that would be really benefic beneficiary to... to the guards and 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 um, just to fl you know have a keep a watchful eye on that particular vehicle. Anyway, um, I, I hope you um, there's a number of problems to be solved here, and uh, maybe you guys can help. Like uh, a corpus of uh, Malaysian plates would be would be handy to do, to undertake this work. I can see this being very time consuming. I kind of really need some help. So any Malaysians out there, I really need your help. I mean, I'm doing this all sort of pro bono. Um, I would love to make some money out of this project, but I, I kind of doubt it. Uh, th there are like commercial companies I'm trying to collaborate. There's actually a South African company called VSEC, and I think they have ver a very good uh, software system, but it's not open source and the rest of it. But in, I'm actually from Durban, so <laughs> I really hope that we could collaborate perhaps. Um, otherwise, I'm just stuck with a open LPR. Another thing I could do with some expertise is like, like what camera, like, I, you know, like a camera to capture the license plates. I think it has to be quite low. I think, I think uh, um, there's some little tweaks I could make to the camera, like have like an infrared filter to better capture the plates, especially maybe at night. Um, these, yeah, camera suggestion, guys. Anything and. Um, and yeah, like a license plate logger for a neighborhood watch program. Is there any similar projects out there? I'd love to know about them. I'd love to learn from them. And hopefully um, we can do something to improve security in this Malaysian neighborhood. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a like and, and why not subscribe?